Happy birthday to you. Everyone's heard that song. Even your dog has. But have you ever wondered how it even came about? The Happy Birthday song dates back to the 19th century, specifically year 1893, written by Patty Hill and her sister, Mildred J. Hill. The two sisters were born and raised in Kentucky. They both had similar interests and eventually became music composers and teachers. Being teachers, they dealt with children, and judging by their characters, they were probably caring and great teachers. They used their musical background to compose a simple tune called Good Morning to All, intended as a classroom greeting for young children. The lyrics went like Good morning to all Good morning to all Good morning dear children Good morning to all Wait a minute, doesn't that sound like the happy birthday song? Yeah, but these were the actual lyrics. Both Patty and Mildred did not even intend it to be a birthday song. Neither did they even write the lyrics for a birthday song. So how did the lyrics all of a sudden change then? Simple answer is, we don't really know. It was a gradual thing that really evolved after their lifetimes. Which, oh yeah, Mildred J. Hill died in 1916 and Patty Hill in 1946. Then in 1935, the Clayton F. Summy Company, which was a music publisher company, claimed to hold the copyright to the Happy Birthday song. The company acquired the rights to the song from Jessica Hill, a descendant of Patty and Mildred Hill. Then in 1988, Warner Chapel Music acquired the Clayton F. Summy Company, which automatically, they hold the rights to the Happy Birthday song. Could you get sued for using Happy Birthday in a show or a YouTube video? Actually, yes. You could have been subject to a copyright claim or legal action if you did not pay the licensing fees. Keywords could have. Because in 2016, a US court ruled that Warner Chapel's claim to the copyright was not valid. The court declared that the Happy Birthday song was in public domain, meaning it could be used freely without concerns about copyright infringement. And the Happy Birthday song belongs to the United States now. The two legends we for sure want to thank are Patty Hill and Mildred J. Hill. They have made our birthdays a bit more memorable, don't you think? Even though they indirectly did it. But thanks 